Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel. On this video what I'm going to show you, I'm going to do and then somehow show you is how I build the ailerons, I've already built one, the other one is still missing and also how I build the engine seals which I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. So for the ailerons what I've done, I've taken a, a saw, kind of a normal saw, I've uh, cut off the trailing edge and then cut off also the the ribs, the ribs for which I want to have the, the, the ailerons and then what I've done I've built in in between the ribs as you can see here put in some planks and then I've also built up the aileron like building also a bit of a bit of a rib there I've also put in some hinges at the very top because this now can actually fold up quite a lot and also down quite a lot like I don't think it's going to fold so much it's not going to have so much throw but I wanted to have uh, as much as possible so this same operation that I've done here I'm going to do it then on the right wing so that's that's still something to come what I have done also and thanks to one of the comments on the on the mosquito build on the mosquito flying actually I've uh, changed the design of the of these hinges so that I get the maximum movement from it I can't actually now change the length of the wire because I've already put it in there right but I have taken out these little horns that I made out of an old credit card and I've kind of redesigned them and reshaped them a little bit so that they move more so I'm not sure if it's going to be enough but I don't want to compromise at any step um, than the movement so maybe now the, the aileron is not going to compromise the movement because it can really move a lot the hinge is at the maximum it can or the horn is at the maximum it can so now it's going to be up to what is the servo arm? Can can that move as much as uh, as needed or not? So that's also one of the of the bits that I've been doing. And as I say, so I I prepare the other aileron and then I start with the engine uh, mounts. I have already done a little bit, so I've prepared this. This is going to come in here, and I've already experimented with the the engine gear, the gearbox, to see how it would go. And most importantly, is also to make sure that the there's the right distance, I don't know if you can see it, but there's very little distance to the to the fuselage, I think this will go actually slightly in, so that is basically the distance that I have more or less now to the to the fuselage, so when it turns, so I've got to be really watch out for that, because I don't want to have to modify the propellers, I know it's possible, but I don't want to have to do it, so um, that's the progress so far, so I'll now get on to the other side of the, to the other wing, to the other aileron, and uh, keep you posted on this. So here's a short update on the ailerons and the engine cowlings. On on the left aileron, I've already installed the hinges. Don't think you, maybe you can see them, but I'm not really too happy about it. I've also put in the the horn. There it is. Initially, I just put it in with glue, but then it fell off, so I put in two two very small screws. The smallest screws that I found. I have a whole set of mini screws over here that I got. Um, and I've also put in the, the control rod there. I don't know if you can see it, but it has this this strange shape. I point it out to you here. Um, this shape, and that's so that I can do the trimming even when it's installed. So that's that's the idea. It has a very long, very strange shape, and I'm not sure if it's going to be good. I'm, I'm not quite happy with with the setup yet, so I might change it. Um, and then, of course, then I have to do it then on the on the other side. For the other side, on the right side aileron, like I've already built the aileron, I still haven't put in the hinges. It's a, it's a bit tighter, this one, so I'm going to see how I do that. I want to finish the left one first and let's see if there's any lesson learned there, what, uh, what can be done. So that's on the aileron front. Then for the engine cowlings, or the engine nacelles actually, more than the cowlings, I managed to put them together somehow. It's not fully clear on the, on the plan how it has to be done. So I've, I've done quite some adaptations. I'm putting in these, uh, these stringers that are one millimeter and I'm bending them with my, with my nail. There's an instruction actually here how to do it. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Um, so it, it gets this nice, this nice curve. And uh, this one on the left is pretty much done, I believe. You can actually put on the cowling. Let's see if you can actually then see it. I did try it on earlier there and the cowling and that's that's what it looks like so so it's not looking bad at all and uh, I'm somehow always impressed I, w I was always impressed about how how details and thing and small pieces we have to use for these things and uh, finally I'm the one that's using these little small pieces and somehow seems to be turning out okay if it's strong enough that's another question but well 
And then I still have to work on the other side, on the right hand nasil, uh, engine nasil that I'll be working on. So still a bit to do. So I'll get back to work on this and I'll, I'll give you another update, I hope. So let me wrap up this video about the ailerons and the engine nasils. So I've already connected with push rods both ailerons. I'm somehow not entirely happy about it, so I think I might tell you some modifications, but in theory they do work. I'm having issues more with, than anything with, uh, with the hinges, so I might need to redo them somehow. Um, but anyhow, it works and uh, the mechanism is there, which is good. And then also, as I'd shown before, I have the engine seals there in place, the cowlings that are ready, they, they go on, and uh, they start to look. Like the whole thing starts to look its part, right? The part. So there it is so far. That so that was the engine seals and the ailerons with some complications. I'll do maybe a bit of sanding down already, as you know. I do sanding like in, in different phase, different phases and approaches. I've also glued together then the the forward part of the fuselage. It looks a bit crooked, which I hope is not too bad. And uh, then I'll have to start on the next one. It'll be all about the electronics, which is. Um, which is a bit worrying because I'm never too good at it. So anyhow, that's how we learn and how we get challenges. So thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.